that one attempt there with 11 seconds left. Um, but a little bit of a lackluster shot there in the last 11 seconds. So up to 165, it'll be Caden Milheim, another freshman for the Eagles, versus Evan Mag, redshirt freshman from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Nice dart low single by Mag. Milheim, though, scrambling out of that first leg attack, now scrambling into the second, getting tangled up. Mag, though, doing a good job getting head high, hips high. There's going to be no takedown yet. That's a change of position. If was he able to get one of those legs in, they're going to get three. But still no, still no points here. About to be. Going to get three there. for more has got that wrist. Yeah, that wrist is got it on the back now. Great shot of that torque on that left shoulder. Yeah, that ain't comfortable. But yeah, Max now trying to no exchange. So we're going to have Mag back on top. Mag kind of rushed that you know, kind of looked, tried to cow catch him there from the side, from the top, and rushed it over, and Milheim was able to feel that out and get his hips on top. Milheim kind of wrestling up a weight. He's really listed as a 157, but with the return of Jack Neese sliding into that 157 spot, he's going up to 165 against Mag. One thing that Coach Beasley told us that Mag can, he's kind of funky in his style. He can put guys on their backs anywhere, but also can get caught in some things. So we'll see if Milheim able to take advantage. Yeah, here he is just hanging on that claw ride. Not a whole lot of, now he tries to get that right leg in, looking for a far side cradle. Milheim though looks isolating that wrist keeping that from getting locked. 40 seconds to go in the opening period. No oh. points awarded there. Yeah, Mag gets both legs in. You know, there's not a whole lot that Mag can do to turn from in here. You know, he gets some gripes from the George Mason fans here, but there's not a whole lot that you can do with two legs in. But Milheim's able to clear both legs and Create a little space, but we're back in that position where he's got that wrist looking to put him on the back. Short time here, down to seven seconds and rolling. And looks like Milheim will survive after that early takedown and a torquing of his left shoulder. So Mag will go down. Issue. Looks like some shoelace is not taped or covered. Mag wrestling tough here on bottom, and Milheim just not able to keep up. Mag just keeps going. Now he's got that cradle locked up. Yeah, tough to turn from that side of the body when you got a far side cradle, but he's been looking for it so far in this match. So big reversal there. Now a five-point advantage plus the riding time up over two minutes right now. And rising. Milheim's got to find a way to get some points to get some momentum back in this match. Yeah, Milheim's able to create some space down there, but he just puts, you know, he just goes to one move, not hitting his next move, kind of hitting a little sit-out, turn in, 
needs to put a couple of those together, create more space, and you know, try to find an escape here. But as Mag just hangs on top with a nice heavy, you know, spiral ride, not full, fully turning here. Stall warning, Jason Borelli not happy about it. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely going to see that with, you know, Milheim's head has been down, you know, the, the whole time. But at the same time, there hasn't been a whole lot of turn attempts from on top. So when you're hanging on that arm like that or hanging with both legs in, it's, it's, it's tough for the bottom guy to improve. Down to 15 seconds. And finally stopped on the stalemate. Jason Borelli has been kind of haranguing the official through that entire hold. Just constant talk. He's not happy with the officiating right now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, I mean, here, uh, I mean, Max just, I mean, official's not calling it, so you might as well. But, you know, he's just doing a good job of really keeping heavy pressure on and putting on a good ride. Uh, just not looking for any turns. And I think that's what's frustrating Coach Pirelli. So Milheim down 5 nothing. He'll go down and riding time locked in. And Mag will go ahead and let him go back up to neutral and give up the one point. These wrestlers from the Keystone State. As can Milheim do anything with the leg? Yeah, I mean, good timing on that shot, but you know, it goes. You know, as I talked about on bottom, Caden does a good job of his first move, and then nothing after that. Great shot, got in on the shot. Almost surprised that he was in on the shot. Stop. You know, once you get on that, once you get in on the shot, you got to run your feet. You got to get your angle. Um, keep improving. So one thing we mentioned about Mag is that he will score, but he also gives up things. And it doesn't look like Milheim kind of cognizant enough to take advantage of when that opportunity presents itself. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, Mag likes to create action, as we can see here. But guys that like to create action, there is there is going to be parts in their wrestling where they're open for, for scores. Um, and Milheim just isn't quite feeling them or seeing them tonight. But then again, you know, Mag's just, you know, kind of open and flying, letting it fly. Wrestling real tough. So right now, major decision territory. Mag looked up the scoreboard. They're going to look for back points, not a cut and some takedowns. To go for a tech fall, possibly, or a pin. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds. looking for the turn and I'm not giving it up but it will be a 12 to 2 major decision win for Evan Mag as Mason 